Greetings, 27th of October 2008. Well this time I thought I would go through some of the books that I've been using over the years. Um, in particular some of the ones that have been useful to me within my career, both at college and as a, as a working architectural technologist. The first one you've really got to get hold of if you can is this one, Mackay's. I've got three volumes of it and these were produced around 1943 to 1948 and they're the cloth bound ones. They are excellent if you want to know how construction was done during this period. In fact if you actually look at them the construction techniques are still very very sound. I find them most interesting when I come against some older buildings as I'm doing at the moment with um, an older um, conversion that I'm doing in the centre of Birmingham where the walls and some of the interiors are done to this sort of detailing. But even if you want to know how to put a door together or a chimney breast in the old fashioned way then these books are excellent um, and well worth looking at. If you can find one. Um, I've just looked up on the internet at an old bookstore and there's a copy, one copy going for 104 quid. So if you find one, hang on to it. The next one that I've um, went through college with, and this is predominantly what I used through college, well there were two actually, Barry's, which I don't have a copy of anymore for some reason. I must have lent it to somebody and never got it back. And this one, Mitchell's. Mitchell's comes in about four different parts. This is structure and fabric, and it really is a good series. Even now, a friend of mine is the editor of one of the volumes over in Norway, and it's a very, very good series of books. Probably the best on the market now um, for construction detailing and construction methods. Very, very good book set. Well worth getting hold of if you can. The next one that I think you should have in your little collection is the Blue Book from Armitage Shanks. Now this is an excellent book if you can get hold of one from one of the reps. It's free and it has every single piece of porcelain, WC, wash and basins, showers, baths, bidets, everything to do with the, um, the, uh, the WC industry and it's well worth getting hold of. Every single version that they've ever done is in here together with the sizes and how you put them together. The other one that you should really get hold of is this one, which is the Flat Roofing Guide by Ruberide. It's called the Blue Book or the Flat Roofing Guide and it used to be done by Tarmac. So you'll find either Tarmac's name on it or Ruberide. Mm, great book to get hold of. Just about every single detailing method and construction technique for flat roofing is in this book. Well worth getting hold of. The other ones you want to try and get hold of if you can is the RBA Product Selector. Excellent book given away free by the RBA to the profession. The only bad thing about it is manufacturers have to pay to get onto it, so not everybody's in there, but by and large it's everybody there. really is a good reference guide. The White Book by British Gypsum, another classic. If you can get hold of one, they're great to have around. And um, I believe now there's a, a White Book CD-ROM if you want to use that. And of course, the classic Metric Handbook, um, or a Neufert, whatever you want to call it, Great book. One book that I almost forgot is this one from Charlotte Baden Powell. It's called The Architect's Pocket Book, which I think is badly named because it should say The Architectural Technologist's Pocket Book. Um, I quite like it in terms of it's a metric handbook with a bit more information in a very small size. Um, really is um, a good little pocket book. Um, but for the technologist, I think it's lacking. It needs to have a bit more information in that we require um, for for detailing and also for laying out. Um, I think it's um, it's well worth getting hold of if you can. Um, look on the website. There's a link onto Amazon.com for it. And um, if you use the site for the books, um, please do because it just helps. I get a very very small amount of bunts back from Amazon. Um, if you actually buy from, from me um, or via me uh, on the links on my web page. So what else is going on? Hong Kong. Hong Kong's about to come up against us and looking at the old diary over there, it's about four weeks away. Um, so um, looking forward to it immensely. Hoping to meet a lot of guys out there, um, both from the UK, Hong Kong and also America and Australia if they ever get there. Really looking forward to that series of lectures and the AGM itself. Really looking forward to it. So, see you there if you're actually going out there. What else? Google SketchUp e-newsletter has just come out on the email. 
Not so much anything exciting, it's just a roundup of a lot of things about SketchUp, including a lot of links to tutorials in the marketplace. So if you want a copy, drop me a line and I'll send you it on. And or go on to SketchUp and see if you can get it from there. Don't know if it's still available. Recently I've been watching um, a TV podcast from Scobalizer TV from iTunes. Really good, excellent series of lectures about basically the, um, uh, the computer industry. And one of the things he's been talking about is something called every zing. Every, E-V-E-R-Y-Z-I-N-G dot com. Now this is a great little program. Um, is it a little program? No, it's not, because what it does, it takes video and transcribes the video sound and visual tracks into metadata that it wraps up the file in. So, if you want to know, say, anything about the video, the meta file would have it there, making it easy for the search bots to find not only your video, but the content of the video much, much better. But also, if you click on any of the meta links, it takes you to that portion of the video that the link is all about. So no trawling through now, looking for the bits and pieces that you've been looking at as the meta file. Excellent. Bad side, I think it's going to be expensive and for only for the big boys um, because they don't give a price and they want to do all the programming for you. So in my book, that tends to be a bit expensive, but worth watching. I was um, quite amazed when I saw it and the sort of stuff that they're now doing with um, with the metafiles, particularly trying to make it so that the, 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 the Google bots find you and record you. Excellent. So that's it. Talk to you later. Have fun. Cheers and bye-bye.